Every step of the road has been just one foot after the other. Most of the time you'll meet some kind of door close or far out how we're going to work through this, but there's always a way. You just have to persevere and just keep going back and going again and it's sheer grit and determination some days that just keeps you, keeps you going. It's not always straightforward but it's been a fun adventure. We're Jackie and Dan Cottrell farming sheep, beef and quinoa alongside our family here in Mofongo. The farm is about 600 hectares and we farm 6,000 stock units. In addition to that, we grow around 30 hectares of quinoa on an annual basis. We discovered quinoa when Dan and I were travelling back in 2012 through South America and we really likened the landscapes of parts of Peru in particular to the Central Plateau. We'd eaten a lot of quinoa while we were in South America, so we started looking at the viability of growing this crop back on the farm in New Zealand. Unlike our sheep and beef operation where we've definitely got a, a market to sell our product, quinoa was not like that for us. There's not a, a, a quinoa buyer that you can just go and sell your 30, 70 tonne of quinoa to. We identified that we needed to start marketing it ourselves. So where we're at now is we're selling a reasonable portion on a bulk scale and then we've also got a retail brand that goes through supermarkets and health stores across the country. We're planting quinoa into pasture that we believe needs to be renewed. Quinoa likes quite a bit of nitrogen, it's a high protein seed. We feel like we've kind of got the recipe right now using permanent pasture going into quinoa and back into a really nice diverse kind of fruit salad mix of pasture. As we've tread along this path we've recognised that soil is the integral part to the success of, of our business be it sheep, beef or quinoa. Increasing the herbs and the legumes in our pasture swards not only is beneficial for the animals but it's also beneficial for the soil in that you're introducing completely different root systems, increasing your mineral availability. We're only just in the infancy of really making steps in the right direction but yeah, certainly big discussions at the dinner table around how we're going to achieve this. The biggest thing that we're focused on is actually connecting with the consumer and identifying where their values lie. With that understanding, we can talk to them about how we are achieving that. That's probably more important than just telling our story because the consumer will listen to what they are interested in. We need to be just open and honest and have great dialogue around what we're all trying to achieve because I think that's what's needed to really address the environmental issues that are on our plate at the moment.